In this video, I want to talk about lactic acid and exercise. Anthropologists tell us that hunter-gatherers walked approximately six miles a day. As their descendants, we too should walk six miles a day for optimal health. Alas, most of us don't walk six miles a day. Instead, we spend six hours a day or more sitting. Some of us go to the gym and exercise, and while weights and aerobics have wonderful effects on strength, bone density, and endurance, they are not the same as a six-mile walk every day. One of the main benefits of extended walking is the creation of lactic acid in the body. Lactic acid triggers capillary growth in the muscles. The average person has one or two capillaries per muscle cell. A well-trained athlete has four to six. Increasing blood lactic acid levels may trigger an increase in muscle capillaries and thus impart a two to six fold increase in physical endurance. Lactic acid also triggers cerebral growth factors, increasing capillaries in the brain, leading to improved brain function. Lactic acid improves the hippocampus, the part of the brain associated with memory and spatial awareness. Lactic acid is also shown to improve social confidence and help recover from rejection. So if you're a man with approach anxiety and have trouble talking to women, you may have low lactic acid levels. In women, low lactic acid levels can display as excessive shyness. Lactic acid is also a heavy metal chelator, so it helps detoxify us as well. Okay, we want lactic acid, but how much? There is a term in exercise science called the maximal lactate steady state, or the MLSS. It refers to the maximum level of lactic acid your blood can contain before it starts to accumulate and cause acidosis. So optimally, we want to exercise at a level below our MLSS. Historically, we've gotten our lactic acid either from exercise or fermented foods, but since most of us won't walk six miles a day like a hunter-gatherer, what about eating lactic acid-rich fermented drinks and foods? Fermented products contain the good L form of lactic acid, the one you want that has all the positive effects, but fermented foods also contain the D form of lactic acid, which is a neurotoxin, as well as histamine, which causes inflammation and allergic reactions. To this end, I've created Lactimed. It contains only the beneficial L form of lactic acid and no histamine. One capsule is the equivalent of a brisk two-hour hike. Two capsules is the equivalent of a vigorous four-hour hike with a pack on your back with the first 30 minutes going uphill. If you want the full physical endurance, mental prowess, and social confidence you are meant to have, consider our Lactimet lactic acid supplement.